So I still have a few more questions on ICT third-party providers. So I think a main point when it comes to ICT third-party providers here that the regulation puts forward is the need to have a register of information with all of the contractual arrangements between the ICT third-party providers and financial entities within scope of the regulation. So what is this register of information all about? Okay, thank you, Beatrice, um, for the question. Um, there's a lot to say on on this, um, and I think it is important, um, and, and we cannot emphasize enough on the importance of financial entities preparing themselves um, from this aspect of retaining this register of information. So basically, I'm going to, to answer you in two parts. The first part, I want to mention that this provision is not entirely new. Um, today, we already have an element where we would need to, um, where financial entities would need to retain a register of information capturing outsourcing arrangements. Um, secondly, this is mandatory for, for all entities, so there are no entities which are excluded from, from this provision. And it is important um, that we say that what we are going to be discussing in terms of this register of information is applicable to ICT aspects, okay? Um, so the key differences from what we actually have today to what um, we will actually see under DORA um, is first and foremost that the register of information needs to capture all ICT arrangements, making it clear as to which arrangements are considered to be critical or important and which, which arrangements um, are considered um, not to be um, critical or, or important. And it also needs to eventually include information on the subcontractors. Um, this is what we already have today and what we will continue to have um, uh, in, 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 in under door on the future. Um, uh, the second key difference is the reporting obligation. So in addition to um, what we have today, that the authority can request the full register or parts of it. Um, and in addition to notifying the authority when there are new arrangements, we have seen the introduction of a yearly reporting. So entities are going um, to be obliged to report to the competent authority on a yearly basis on new ICT arrangements. I must add a small point on this, um, that us as a CERC function together with other functions of the authority, um, we are working, already working on a solution to introduce a solution to try and make the reporting um, as easy as, as possible. Um, the third key difference um, uh, is the standardized approach. So basically today, um, the relevant guidelines, they, to, they do tell you um, what needs to be captured in the register of information, but financial entities, can they use their own template? This will change um, with DORA, um, because we're going to have a standardized template, which needs to basically be used by all financial entities, um, which is very similar. So the data that would need to be captured within this template is very similar to what we have today. Um, we've conducted an exercise last year, a joint ESA exercise together with a sample of financial entities. We've already have, have, uh, we already have an idea um, of what this template will look like. And basically it includes the name of third party providers, um, unique identification numbers, um, uh, dates in terms of contractual arrangements when they are entered into notice periods, renewal dates, uh, what are the services um, uh, that are being uh, um, provided by the third party service provider, um, uh, and also information about subcontractors, possibly also about alternative um, service providers. I must say that this is um, this is not concluded. So this is something the template is still to be decided on through an ITS, which is is to be concluded early early next year. But what is interesting that with this um, standardized approach, it will not only um, uh, allow um, uh, for for a more um, um, 
for a, an easier way of retaining uh, data. But what is interesting, it will allow a standardized way of reporting information at not only a national level, but also within the European Union itself. And very interestingly, it's going to allow us to actually map the interdependencies um, within the financial industry um, uh, on ICT third party providers. So that is very, very interesting. Um, so I believe this is very important. It is, it is, um, uh, there is a lot of emphasis on it. Um, entities should start preparing themselves in order to revisit what, what they actually have um, uh, and, and what will be the, the understanding, what will be um, the new approach. Um, but that is basically it um, in terms of, of the register of information.